Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and we are going to be celebrating Mardi Gras for 2022. I am so excited. Tonight's the first night and they're bringing back the full parade. So we're going to be able to catch some beads and eventually we're going to be able to throw some beads from the parade floats. That's one of the things I missed so much last year. Then we're going to eat some food and also watch some amazing live entertainment. Anywho's, let's go do this. As soon as I see that big Mardi Gras sign and start to hear the music, I get so excited. Tonight's going to be such a fun night of dancing, eating, and partying. And also Sugar Ray is actually going to be performing tonight. And they brought back the whole Mardi Gras concert series. So I'm excited to see that as well. This is going to be a full Mardi Gras celebration. The past two years, it's been limited experiences because of the shutdown and everything that's going on. But this year, it's all coming back. I can't wait to see the parade. That is one of my favorite things. Just catching the beads. And also, you get the opportunity to actually be on the parade floats tossing beads to people. And I like doing both of them. It's so much fun. And when the music comes on, feet don't fail me now. Feet don't fail me now. It just gets me so excited. <laughs> The party really starts once it gets dark out, so we're going to actually go around, try some of the food, and then the parade is at 7.45, and also the concert, Sugar Ray, I think, starts at 8.30. So uh, there's going to be a lot of things to cover today, and I am so excited. The Mardi Gras Festival goes on from February 5th to April 24th, and there are so many new food items, so I think we're going to dive into some of the food booths first. I do have to say, the Mardi Gras live concert series is absolutely amazing. Sugar Ray Tonight, Diana Ross, Bare Naked Ladies, Sticks, LL Cool J, Marshmallow, Khalid, Seal, Gavin DeGraw, Jimmy Allen, and Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo! I love how everybody gets so festive for Mardi Gras. I figured I wouldn't bring my beads with me because by the end of the night, I plan on having dozens of beads around my neck for when the uh, parade happens. And uh, also it being the first day, it looks like the lines are gonna be a little bit long to get some of the food items, but we're in it. We're in it to win it today. No matter what, every time I come to Mardi Gras anywhere, not just Universal, I gotta try the gumbo, I gotta try the jambalaya, I gotta get the beignets. There's certain things that I always have to try. And also we're gonna try some new things, hopefully, things I've never had before. And that always gets me excited. First things first, I think we have to get the chicken and andouille sausage jambalaya. You know I do love the jambalaya. Mixed rice with andouille sausage, chicken, shrimp, peppers, tomatoes, finished with a spiced crawfish for only $6.49. <laughs> This year, instead of doing a punch lanyard, they're actually doing a special food and beverage card. And for annual pass holders, this is so amazing. So this card is $75. With my annual pass, I saved $10. So I paid $65 for this. I get $75 worth of food. And then every other individual item I buy with this, I also get my annual pass discount, which I think is so crazy. That is so, so good. And here is the jambalaya. What a great way to start off. We got some shrimp in there, we got some sausage, and then we got the little crawdaddy on top. And I remember last year I ate the crawdaddy uh, pretty much the improper way, so I've learned, and I can't wait to try it now this year. Look at this, a little bit of everything in one bite. The shrimp, the sausage, you got a little chicken there, and then the rice. I love jambalaya, this is gonna be good. <laughs> mm. That is some good, good jambalaya. Let's just Mr. Craw on the side here. There we go. Oh, he fell over. But yeah, and you get a good amount. So I, I think I had four shrimp in there. Four shrimp and lots of meat. It, it's actually a really good portion. I feel like at other festivals, you probably pay like seven, eight dollars for this. Like, you know what I mean? And here we get it for five, five dollars. It's not too bad at all, but I'm gonna eat all my shrimp first. Now it's time to crack into the crawfish. Now last year, I tried to like basically peel and eat like shrimp, but they said now you have to crack it and then suck it out. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So now that it's cracked, then you gotta like suck it out. So here we go. I ran into my friends Promise and Travis and they got the category five punch and those fancy little glasses. I like those, how much were the glasses? So I think all of the, so it was 
$13 for the souvenir cup. Oh. And you get $8 refills. And you get a little light up party cup. I think I'm going to go get one of those right now, yeah. actually. Yep, I'm going to get one right now. <laughs> the jambalaya, amazing. Now the crawfish, definitely a required taste. And honestly, I like it. I like it now that I did it the proper way. Uh, if you guys want to see the way I ate it last time, I think I just like took the crawfish and just oh, really? bit. Like I just bit it in half actually. And that was not the right way. That happened last year. So uh, definitely tastes better than the last time I had it. Now I've got my official Mardi Gras cup for 2022 and it lights up and it's actually really pretty. And I got the uh, Goombe Smash as my starter drink. And this looks really, really good. I usually get the category five, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And now that I have this cup, I can go back and I get refills for only uh, $12. And this is the bigger cup, so that actually is really beneficial. If you got the 12 ounce one, you can get refills for $8. So if you plan on getting more than one drink, then this is the way to go. And you can also get beer with it as well. Because I do plan on trying some Swamp Head Wild Night beer later. I much prefer like a beer instead of like a super sweet drink. I do like like old fashions and stuff like that, but this is a pre-mixed one, so I'm gonna give it a go. Only for the uh, experience of Mardi Gras, but I, I, I think I might like this one. It's good. It's not too sweet. Not too sweet at all. Very good juices in there. I like it. This is good. Dark rum. Then my friend promised grab me a carnitas arepa here and I'm excited because I do love the arepas here and uh, look at that. They took them away for a little bit. They were over by uh, where Amity is but now they're back. Now they're back. Time to go all in here. Look at this. Doesn't it look so so good though? I am. I love these actually. They're, they are really really amazing. So here we are. They give you so much meat inside there, and it is so, so good. And this is the second item that I've got to try so far uh, for Mardi Gras, and I'm loving it. I love all the food. Now, we do have to get some gumbo and some beignets and a couple of other amazing items, but this is a, this is a good start. This is a good start. Later on, we're gonna have to get some beignets. You remember our beignet technique? Yeah. You have to like hold it out like this. Oh yeah, I remember very, very. I feel like it's almost the same thing for the arepas. <laughs> the beignets and the arepas get eaten the same way. All the Mardi Gras food is so messy. You just gotta bend over, shove it in your hole. Yep. <laughs> Now since we had some jambalaya, we had an arepa, and we have our drink still, I think it's time for uh, some beignets. Some beignets, king cake, and also maybe a Mardi Gras marshmallow pie. Doesn't this all sound amazing? It's very apparent that the beignet stand probably has the longest line so far. I mean, there's a lot of good offerings here, and you can get the same drinks that you can get here, uh, or at the uh, Mardi Gras bar, you can get them actually at this stand as well. But uh, I kind of like going over to that side because it's a little bit nicer. Here are the beignets, and you can also buy a whole Mardi Gras cake, but the cake is like $12.99, but look at it in there. I mean, that is huge. I also got one of these cool Mardi Gras marshmallow pies because that looks fancy as well. Thank you. Oh boy, lots of food. <laughs> Look at that. So you actually get quite a few beignets in there and the cake looks really cool. Look at all the Mardi Gras sprinkles on it and I'm excited. I'm excited to dive into it. First things first, we're going to dive into the beignets, but I'm going to break into it and I kind of got a good angle so I don't get powdered sugar all over myself. And look at, it's really, really like uh, airy inside of it. Like beignets are supposed to be airy, but you can see there's actually a big pocket of air. It's already broken in, but I'm going to break through it first. Here. Look at that. All right. Now we're going to assume the position like this. <laughs> These are actually really, really good. And I didn't get any powdered sugar on me. Nope. I feel really, really special. <laughs> like, you know, I, I couldn't find like a Mardi Gras shirt to wear. So I just wore this nice floral pattern Roosevelt. And I like it. It fits pretty well. Now we're going to try the Mardi Gras marshmallow pie. And this looks so good. I don't want to lose all my sprinkles, but we're going to just crack right in half here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That was impressive. Oh, I am excited. Can you see the cake in there? This is going to be good. Okay, we're diving right in here. Wow. This is so, so good. I really, really like it a lot. <laughs> oh, and it was really fun to actually break open to it. It actually made like a pop sound. Like, I don't know if it came out on camera, but I heard like a little like air pop. 
but wow, so, so good. I might like this a little bit better than the beignets. I don't know though. I've got one beignet left over there. Uh, maybe I should try that first. And we don't have any sauce for it though. Like, do you guys normally eat your beignets with sauce? Either like caramel, chocolate, or strawberry? There's no dipping sauces for these ones, what but this is good. Together, Nate? Ooh. What if you make a beignet moon pie combo? A beignet, a Mardi Gras beignet moon pie. Yes. I like the idea of this. <laughs> I think Promise knows me too well here. This is it. This is the combo. I feel like these beignets are a little bit more like how they would actually be served during Mardi Gras. Uh, but I do like uh, Dizzy's Port Orleans French Quarter beignets a little bit better. I do like the Mickey beignets, even though they're not traditionally the way they're supposed to be. But uh, they're just fun to eat, maybe because they're Mickey's. Oh, it looks like we've got a marching band coming down. I ran into some of my friends, the Darlins here, and they are so well dressed. And they actually do monthly events where they go around and get dressed up around the theme parks. And of course, now it's Mardi Gras, so we're all gonna do a group photo. It's gonna be really awesome. I feel underdressed though. Well, that was so awesome. Aren't they all dressed up so beautiful? They're the D23 Darlings, and I love it. They really do go all out for all the different events that happen in the theme parks, and it's fun that we get to take photos and meet up. Now I think it's time for some shrimp gumbo with rice. $5.99 for this, and I love gumbo. This is like a must-have whenever I come to a Mardi Gras festival, and it's $5.99, and plus we get our discount. So this is a really cool deal. I would like to try the blackened chicken po' boy, so we might have to come back and try that another day. Uh, but gumbo on a perfect cold day today sounds like a plan. Oh, you can actually hear Sugar Ray testing over there. I almost heard uh, every morning there for a second. And here is the shrimp gumbo. Look at this. It looks so, so good. Got a little tiny baby shrimp in there. Got some rice. And I like the little bowl. So we're going to dive right on in. Seriously, that is some good, good gumbo right there. A lot of people always tell me gumbo should be a little bit darker than that, though. I mean, I don't know. I really only had, like, true, true, like, uh, gumbo or jambalaya once. And that's when a friend sent it to me. And it was so, so good. But it did not look anything like this. And uh, I'm excited to try it. I like the little tiny baby shrimp. All right, here we go. Our first gumbo. It's got a nice little bite with some rice, with some shrimp. Oh my lord. And when it's, yeah. it's so pretty holding it like this. When it's cold, like I like holding it like, oh, <laughs> please sir, I want some more. Please sir, we <laughs> may have some more. It's warming my hands. This is good though. Oh yeah. This might be my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. This literally might be my favorite thing I've had so far. There's a little bit of spice in there, but not much at all. This is definitely my favorite thing though. So, so good. Hi! Can I have some beads? Yes, oh, yeah, fancy. Oh, thank you. You're oh, look at that. My first bead of the night. They're just walking around, roaming around, giving beads. I feel so special. So we've been sharing a lot of the items tonight only because like most of the stuff is actually big portions, but I devoured this gumbo. I ate it all. We all got like separate bowls. This is so, so good. It didn't even stand a chance. It didn't even stand a chance. Much too good. Now I think we had our gumbo fix. It's time to move along and we're gonna check out the tribute store I haven't been able to actually see the inside of that yet And then we're gonna try to just relax and hang out until it gets dark out and the party starts like this is a fun atmosphere I think I've had enough food, but if something else pops up that we all want to try I think maybe we'll try something else. I could go for another drink. I still only have had the uh, Goombe uh, smash and that's the only one now. It's still full of powdered sugar, but I'd love to get a beer and actually use this uh, for my special refill price even though I can bring it back with me anytime I come, but I never do that I always forget it. I always forget the cups at home Right here is the tribute store and we're gonna head on in They do have some things in there that we can actually try if we want to get some sweets or some snacks But I'm just excited to see what it looks like this year The tribute store float factory Check it out. Okay. Ooh. Oh, It looks like they have all the designs for the float factory 
I actually have my Mardi Gras mask from last year that I actually brought with me and I kind of like how this is really set up in here. It's like a factory for uh, the floats and you can see all different things all over the place. It's really, really nifty. I love what they do with the tribute stores. I really think it's something unique and something that Disney really can't even touch. Seriously, isn't this so cool? It's like a whole warehouse full of float works. I love it. The whole hallway is a look back in time at Universal Studios Mardi Gras and they just have tons of photos of the different Mardi Gras like floats and happenings throughout the years. And take a look over on this side. This is really, really cool. Like tonight's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited that it's back. And what do you think about floats on I-4? <laughs> I feel like that could be very dangerous. Now we're gonna head on into the showroom and holy moly, look at this. It's so pretty in here. I love it. <laughs> wow. One of the things I feel like it's important to tell you guys, the uh, food inside the Mardi Gras tribute store is all considered merchandise. So if you buy this uh, food and beverage card, it does not count to these items. So if you do come in here and you buy this, you can't get any of the snacks. Even though the, the snacks look fantastic. Uh, but I probably won't get any because like I said, I already paid for this. They have a nice little display right here. They have a Mardi Gras apple down here. Look at that. And then a trife cake and uh, some Mardi Gras shots and cupcakes, dipped bacon. So many cool things. Even a shaker shake, a shaker shake, a shaker cake for a uh, hurricane. $18 for that. It's really, really expensive. But I just love seeing the big gigantic gator float in here. It's like a gator in space. <laughs> really, really cool. I always love checking out the Tribute Store. It's always amazing in there and they do a great job paying attention to detail in there. But now I think we're gonna keep moving along and it's starting to get really, really chilly out. As soon as we came out of the Tribute Store, it looks like we see some space, some space Mardi Gras happening right here. Look at this. This is really, really cool. I love how they have so many different performers just roaming around during the day until it gets really festive at night, which it will definitely get a lot more festive once nighttime comes. But it's nice that they do have some daytime activities like the marching band we saw earlier. In fact, now take a look at this. Holy moly, the party is starting. Look at this! <laughs> yes! This is it! <laughs> Woo! My friend Maria with LBB TV actually got the Hurricane Shaker Cake uh, from the Tribute Store and we're going to share it because it, it is a big, so big, you said 15 pounds, huh? Easily, like when they handed it to me, I, I was concerned that they gave me concrete and cake. Wow. Yes, it's very heavy um, and it's not the plastic that's heavy. It's, no, it's the cake. Look at it. Here. It's gigantic. We'll see if it's good, but it's definitely a shaker you can actually use. So, Ooh. We should put that I to use one day. Myself in my head. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, it's worth the cost because I can use it as an actual shaker. Not that I've ever made a martini, but I will start. There you go. That's the way. <laughs> you gotta shake it up. Shake it up. Oh, shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> shake it up. Yeah, this is so heavy. I have a feeling it's gonna taste heavy. How it feels. It looks it. All right. Does everybody have a spoon? No, I, I got think, a fork. I actually fork. think passion fruit, passion fruit is very light. So, so I think it's gonna be a little like a hurricane. Yes, like a, a category five. Drink. Yeah, like an actual hurricane from New Orleans. Uh, those are strong. So they I got are strong. It's gonna be strong. Yeah. Nice. All right, everybody. Go ahead. Dig in. Okay. Oh, it's not as dense. As Ooh. I was expecting. Dig Ooh. it. Dig it. And no, you don't it. like it. All right, here we go. I came in like a hurricane. <laughs> it's like it's really intense flavor. 
Okay, it kind of reminds me of cough medicine. Yep. But for a minute. But it's fun and it's citrusy. Oh no. And it's enough for three people. <laughs> no. <laughs> and to go with the king cake, go with the beignets. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you should just keep that all day now and every time you run into somebody to be like, hey, try this and let me know what you think. <laughs> yeah, try this. You gotta try this cake. It's so, so good. And like hype it up. The cake is good. It's the icing. It's the icing. Yeah, the icing tastes like I actually bit into like a lemon. The cake's good. Yeah, like a passion fruit yeah, icing. Like I bit into a lemon that is also mixed with bubble yum or something. Yeah, it's very strange. Not, not my, I'm not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> It was a hard pass on that cake. It's just something about the icing. It's just mm, Not my favorite not my favorite at all, but it's okay There's still a lot of cool things and it's starting to get darker out So I think we're gonna kind of hang out in this area and wait for a good spot for the parade Now I think I'm gonna stop at the Cajun twisted Frank stand Well the twisted tater stand and they have a new twist on taters, which is kind of like a twisted tater drink. Look at this, Old Forester bourbon, and then they have orange liqueur, brown sugar, sweet potato syrup, Mexican chocolate bitters, and lemon juice. And uh, it goes in the refillable mug, so why not? <laughs> They're whipping up the taters back there. I like how they just throw the taters right in the fryer. Look at that, just tosses it right in there. And look at all these delicious things here. I almost lost my receipt. Did you see those cat-like reflexes? Ha! <laughs> Garlic parm, look at that. Oh boy. Oh yeah, don't breathe that in. You're gonna get a little occasion in your eye. Ah, oh, very nice. Thank you. I had to try the twisted Cajun Frank here. And they have one with uh, spicy chorizo queso, but I got it just on its own. Because I hear that the uh, queso is actually really spicy. So we're gonna try, we're gonna, we're gonna dive in. But look at this bad boy. So good, it's Nathan's hot dogs on there too. This is really, really good. I like the Cajun seasoning on there. They also had ghost pepper, garlic parm, but you know, had to go Cajun. Cajun all the way, right? <laughs> My friends ended up getting the uh, same thing I got, but they got the uh, chorizo queso on there. And look at it. It looks really good, but I hear it's really, really spicy. So you guys are gonna have to let me know. Until then, I'm just gonna stick with this bad boy. Did you get any other seasonings on there? Or did you just get the Cajun? Oh, ooh. And that's just Cajun. Yeah. Oh, this is the way. Look at this right here. It's kind of like the bone marrow. I know. Like. <laughs> All over again. Yep. Except it tastes better. Yeah, definitely tastes better. <laughs> now we're gonna try the new twist on taters, and this I actually think is gonna be really, really good. I want to point out that I found out that these cups are only served like sold on concert nights, and if you do get a refill of one of the drinks like here, they give you an eight-ounce cup, and they have to pour it inside there, but you still get the price discount. And uh, here we go. Oh, that's a little strong. That's a little strong. It's got a little kick to it. Down there at 10 a.m. It is getting so busy here at night, though. Look at this. The crowds are almost at a point where you can't walk. And uh, the parade's not for like another hour. And I would say almost all the stands probably have a good 30, 40 minute wait. Like. These lines are very, very long. So if you plan on eating and trying the food, I definitely suggest coming early as possible. Now we've made our way over to the Bloody Mary stand. And I'm not too much of a Bloody Mary drinker, but I have some friends who do enjoy Bloody Mary. Is that a chicken wing? Are you are you eating a Listen, chicken wing? The chicken wing and the hush puppy, hush puppy on the Bloody Mary. And the best part is that the slim straw gym. is a slim jim. See, like there's an wow. actual hole in it, so you can drink out of it. Holy moly! And it's a slim jim Bloody Mary. <laughs> Holy moly! Hey, you need to try. It I'm gonna try it. So that yeah, they got me one to try. So I, I guess we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. <laughs> So my friend Jojo and Chris, they've got theirs, and this is the wild version, yeah. and it's Louisiana hot sauce with sriracha hot chili sauce in there. But we're doing it. Cheers, cheers, cheers fellas. Cheers, 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 cheers fellas. Cheers. <laughs> Personally, I like that's it. Not bad. I do too. No, hey, no, I, that's I'm not bad at all. Sensitive to spicy stuff. It's not that spicy. I don't what feel spicy. Is I could bite my straw. Yeah, I'll, let's bite. I could bite my straw. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
I was really expecting this to actually be a little bit spicy, but now I have two cups. I've got two collectible cups. I don't know if this fits directly in there, but I'm afraid to drop it in to see what happens, but I think we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, you can. Look, oh wow, that was actually really smooth, but look at that. It fits right in there. Now it is time, the parade is almost here. And because the concert is like immediately after the parade, we wanted to find a spot where we can like go right to the concert as soon as the parade's over without getting stuck in like a big crowd of people. And I think we did pretty good. So we're actually right outside of the Monsters Cafe. Well, technically next to where Donkey would be. And uh, we have like a good spot. And everyone's all like already like lined up. They're ready for the parade to be back. And then as soon as we're done, we can just hop right back here. And it's time for some Sugar Ray. We're all lined up here. Our cups are finally paying off. We got the purple haze. Yep. The drink of Mardi Gras waiting for the parade. Oh, cheers. and then there's a, a band coming right now. So cheers. cheers. Feet don't cheers. fail me now soon. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's coming. Let the good times roll. We got a really good spot. And the, the parade route's coming different than what I've normally seen before. So I'm excited. Here they come. We got the escort coming down. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Beat don't fail me now. Beat don't fail me now. Beat don't fail me now. Woo! Beat don't fail me now. Beat don't fail me now. Woo! Yes! Here it goes. Beat don't fail me now. Beat don't fail me now. We got this, we got this, it's me time! Yes! Come on, hit it up! Yes! Oh yeah! We got one! Oh! Oh! Okay, pelt it! Oh nice! Oh yes! 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 Give it! Oh yes! Yes! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that... Only one float down. Look at this. That is the most bees made. Oh. All the bees. There we go. I'm just going to wear them on my hat. <laughs> just just like that. Oh boy, here comes another one. <laughs> yes. There it is! Yes! Woo! Oh! Look at we're doing good! We're loaded! Yes, right? I just want them to throw one on the camera. On the camera. Like, I, want them to, I want a ringer on the, on the camera. Yep. Who's gonna get it first? We gotta get a ringer. Who's gonna get the ringer on the camera? Bring the camera! On the camera! On the camera! On the camera. I got one! I got one! I got two! Two! <laughs> yes, my girl! Oh, there it is! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, you got a boat! Nice! <laughs> a boat? <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice! Oh, oh, he's going high! Hey! Look at the beads we're missing in front of us. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not kidding when I say that you get pelted in the face, you do. So I'm going to try to catch that on film. I'm going to take one for the team, for you guys. Look, here it comes. Here it comes. Get ready. In the way. Oh. <laughs> Wow, this one's got fire! Yeah. Fire! 
Wow! Yes! Oh, I love his hat! <laughs> nice! That's the way! Oh, oh! It's like Lady and the Tramp between us! <laughs> Save the bees! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, look at this! <laughs> More bees! There we go! Very fitting! I like it! <laughs> I think this French Quarter one is my favorite float so far. I hope I, we're going to come back and we're going to actually be doing this. So I'm going to be throwing the beads on this. So look forward to a video about that soon. But I want to be on this one right here. That'd be so awesome. Look at this. Somebody managed to nail one in my pocket. <laughs> I just look at this. Look at that. That is really, really talented. Yeah. Oh, there's the king. <laughs> And now that the floats are done, everyone is heading on in so we can watch some Sugar Ray. Look at this. Exactly why we wanted to come watch it from over here. Look at this. We got, okay. a, good, we got a good collection here. I, I got a lot. Uh, yeah? I got a lot. Who got the most? I don't know. It's tough. I let, think... let us know in the comments who do you think who got, got, the, got most? the most. Yeah. Did uh, LPV TV promise hope that we're Travis are included in that? Or me? I don't know. I feel like it's a close. Oh, I think Nate. I think Nate. Nate, I think Nate, Nate really you close. <laughs> no, I, no. A little bit. Really He's good. really no. close. But I his think. are hanging down lower. Yeah. Mine's like really up tight really to my neck. Tight. So it might be close. We, we might have a count. Right, yeah. Count. <laughs> now we're trying to get into the concert area. This is really, really tight here. I'm trying to take my beads off. There's like so much that I can't get them all off and they're like intertwined. So I'm putting them in and then through my hand. There we go. I'm, I'm only a couple more away. I think I got it. Look at Nate. Look at Nate and all his beads. There we go. I think that's all of them. <laughs> That's a good lot right there. Look at that. I like all the pretty colors. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> We're trying to untangle the beads here. It's there's, looking good. There's lots of beads. That's good. There's only one or two that's stuck in there. Okay. Now we got them untangled. We can put them back on. Amazing. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and here's the stage, and we're ready for Sugar Ray. A little Mark McGrath every morning. They coming out. Party Gras. Welcome back to the 90s. Whoa. Where it's okay to frost your tips. This song's called Every Morning and it goes a little something like this. Let's go! Shut the door, baby, don't say a word. Orlando, Florida, I want to hear you. I don't care if you're here or if you're not. Sing! Let's rejoice, let's go!
gentleman, a good friend of mine, such a talented guy. This is Mr. Ryan Cabrera. Ryan, do you mind? What a blast from the past though. Really, really awesome when he kept on talking about 1995 and him having a number one song in 1999. And the first time he ever played in Orlando was with a band called Korn. It was really cool to see that. And uh, now we gotta make our way out. But in true Universal Studios Mardi Gras fashion, there's one more thing we need to do. We have to give our beads to the tree. So here we go. Oh, there's one, it landed. I'm gonna take this one off. I don't wanna give all my beads away. Here we go. Oh, that one stayed too. I'm gonna try to rope it on right here. Oh, oh, well, there we go. Look at this, isn't it so funny? What a tradition here for Universal Studios. One more. One more in there. Wow. Oh, wow, what a connection. Woo. <laughs> and with that i think we are done here what a fun mardi gras i am so excited there are so many more nights i plan on coming out i'm so excited to be able to come out and be able to throw the beads myself because i do have a reservation to actually do that and then also diana ross uh jason derulo marshmallow there are so many other great concert series actually happening and i love eating the food so i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it We'll see you next time. Bye.